I haven't made a YouTube video in a minute. Room's a wreck, life's a mess, you know the routine. So I figured I would share a very heartwarming story involving when I got my phone stolen in Spain, which is a whole story on its own. But after I got my phone stolen, I spent the next day tracking it because you can still see it if you have another Apple device. So I spent some time chasing it around my city, went a bunch of different places, and I watched it go there helplessly, tried to follow it. I didn't have to go into work at the recording studio I was doing my internship at because some big international artist was there, like renting out the whole studio, which I later found out was um, Kendrick Lamar. So thank God Kendrick rented out the studio because I didn't have to go to work and I could go look for this thing but I chased it all around the city with no success. And then it settled in like an apartment, a few subway stops away from where I was staying at the time. So I sat outside this apartment and I waited so patiently. I sat myself down in a little cafe that was right there. And then I drank beer after beer after beer. And I had like three. And then I was like, damn, I don't think this dude's coming out. Now for just a little bit of context, it's not like I would have really done anything had you know, it come out, but essentially what you have to do is call the police if you see it moving in Spain if you get something stolen. And you can only call the cops after you see it moving somewhere. And then hopefully they help you get it back, but you know, that wasn't happening in the situation realistically. So I had like three drinks and then I'm like, I'm not going to be successful. And I left and I went to the weed bar, which is like a thing over there. They have like private little clubs and like you could smoke at them and it's really interesting. So I went to the weed bar, I had like a half a joint and I just like was not feeling good. I didn't have anything to eat that day. I was stressed out about the iPhone. Yeah, I didn't feel so good. I was getting pretty lightheaded for some reason. I stood up, I left the table it just got worse and worse with every step I took down that hallway. And then I tried to get the bathroom door open. And this is when the problem really hit because I couldn't get the door open and I was really struggling and I only had like two seconds. I like needed to lay down otherwise I was gonna pass out. And I'm like consciously thinking as this is happening, like, damn, this is gonna be really embarrassing because I'm here mentally, but my body wants to give out right now. And I know I'm going to go down right now and there's nothing I can do. I, I knew at that moment when I couldn't get the bathroom door open, I was going to faint and I essentially did. I didn't lose consciousness. I just went down and I hit the ground. I didn't feel it. Everyone else was concerned. I wasn't concerned. I picked myself back up and I went into the bathroom and then I just laid on the floor. I laid on the ice cold floor for about five to seven minutes and my nice friend came knocking doo, doo, doo. Carla are you okay I'm like yeah I'm, I'm fine just give me a second well after five minutes on the bathroom floor I was totally fine and at the time that bathroom floor felt so nice that was exactly what cured me that was a very embarrassing moment I had in public. And afterwards, the bartender essentially was like super concerned for me, asking me if I'm okay over and over again, like trying to get me water. And I'm like, dude, I'm okay, trust me. Like, I don't know why that happened. <laughs> that is how I passed out at a weed bar in Spain and embarrassed myself.